Welcome to Classic Game Room, coming to you from the Intergalactic Space Arcade, which is powered by 35 Sega Genesis's Daisy Chained together to bring you the review of Super Meat Boy on PC. Sadly, it's not on Genesis. Super Meat Boy! This is Super Meat Boy from 2010. What a name for a game. Super Meat Boy. Clearly not a vegetarian. Or, well, maybe he is, come to think of it. He's made of meat, but then again, aren't we all? Super Meat Boy is a super cool, super fun, super challenging platformer slash puzzle game being played here on PC from Steam. You can also pick this up on Xbox Live. It's one of these clever indie titles which has managed to become quite popular and gain an audience because it's actually good. Although I will warn you, I suck at Super Meat Boy. This is the kind of game that can cause gamer rage easily, so you may want to lock yourself in a padded room if you're playing with an expensive controller. I love the cutscenes in this game. Very well done, very charming, funny, and they prove that you don't need 8 billion processors or the latest hardware to enjoy a good game with, with fun cutscenes that tell an endearing story. There's beauty and simplicity, and that's what Super Meat Boy does well. It feels a bit like an old school game, but it's not trying to be an old school game. So here's what you do, you play through levels and then you fight these pseudo end boss battles and each time you complete a level you get a, you get a fun replay, which is one of my favorite parts of the game, that shows you all of the times you've tried and have been blended. Normally, I can bullshit you and say, I got this on the first try, but not with Super Meat Boy. It speaks the truth. No human in the history of ever has been worse than Super Meat Boy than me. Terrible, this game. He speaks the truth. I'm awful at this game, but with trial and error, I was able to get through levels. And that's the thing. It's a trial and error game. So you've got to like that. Repeat gameplay, mastering each level bit by bit, and playing it over and over again. Fortunately, Super Meat Boy is charming, it's enjoyable, and it has some great music. But if you don't like trial and error in your video games, you're just not gonna like this one. Super Meat Boy can become frustrating quickly because it has touchy controls and requires a great deal of precision while playing it. Many levels nearly pushed me to the breaking point where I almost ejected my controller out the airlock into space, but I kept coming back for more Super Meat Boy. This may be the kind of game that's best played in small doses, especially if you're not very good at it. Play a couple levels, take a break. If you can't get through something, you can skip a level. Try something else. <coughs> Now there's lots of stuff to collect, bandages, unlockable characters, and even hidden secret warp zones. Super Meat Boy is a big game, there's a lot of levels, and it should keep you busy for quite some time. So I've got a big classic game room shout out and thank you to send all the way to Sam in Phoenix, Arizona for sending this to the show on Steam. Thank you, Sam. And yes, I recommend Super Meat Boy. It's a nice game. And I absolutely love the cutscene. Sometimes the game can be really frustrating. In fact, often the game can be really frustrating, and the cutscenes are so likable that they just make it all worthwhile. Super Meat Boy is a very likable character, great music, fun gameplay. If you can get into the repeat gameplay, it's Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy. 